I'm going to show you five different ways for using DeepSeq R1 without actually using the DeepSeq website. And some of these are going to give you new functionality. And I think you're going to like these more than the website. Now, the first thing I wanted to show you is actually how to run DeepSeq R1 locally on your computer. This is going to install directly on your computer and you could run it privately. You could chat with it and it's not going to have any downtime. Sometimes the website is down. This is not going to be down because it's installed on your own computer. I'm going to show you two different options. LM Studio is one of the easier options. And there is a website called olama.com. And here you could also run different models like DeepSeq R1. You could download these and install them locally. Now, DeepSeq R1 actually has these smaller versions of it. These are distilled from the big version, which is 671 billion parameter. It's a massive file. Pretty much no local computer is going to be able to run this one but you can actually run one of these smaller models. And for most use cases, the reasoning is actually pretty good. So I was able to run the 32B and the 70B. Now I'm using an M3 MacBook Pro, but if you have an older computer, you may want to try with the 7B version of it here. And then this will kind of walk you through on how to install it. This one is a little bit more technical, so I'm going to show you the other option in this video. But I did make this dedicated video on exactly how to install it. So I'll link this in the description if you want to go this route. The end result of it looks exactly kind of like ChatGPT or the DeepSeek website here. But the really interesting part about this option here, this Olama option, is you could choose different models and have a chat with multiple models at the same time. So I could choose DeepSeek R1, press the plus sign, and choose another model that I've also installed that is also open source on my computer. So I could run, for example, Llama 3.2. I could choose that as an option. And then if I ask a question over here and send out my prompt, it's going to run them side by side here. So this way I could compare a reasoning model that's actually going through a thinking process versus just a regular model. On top of that, I could press the plus sign and upload any type of files I want to interact with over here. And this has a ton of more advanced options too. Inside of settings, keeps your chat history. So if you use any of these chatbots on any website, this is going to look very familiar. But again, it's going to be installed locally and privately on your computer. Now, this other one, LM Studio, is actually far easier to use and install, but it's a little bit more limited. So I still prefer the Olama option. But this one is just an app. You just download it for Mac, Windows, or Linux. Now, this is what it's going to look like over here. And right over here, you could start a new chat and then choose the model right on top. So you could have DeepSeek R1, for example, and other models too that you could add. And the way you do that is you go to the Discover section right here. And all these models that are available for install are going to be here on the left side. There's a couple of different versions of DeepSeek R1 here that you could download. And Quinn 2.5 is actually another really good large language model that is open source. 5.4, this one is from Microsoft, that's really good. And Llama 3.3, this is from Meta, that's also really good. And then you could install any one of them and then easily compare your answers and switch between these open source models too. Now, if you choose R1 here, it's going to go through the thinking process. It's going to show you how many seconds it's thinking. And then it's going to kind of put the answer right over here in this format and give you the final answer on the bottom. And you could copy the answer directly from this chat down here. Now, this also has this rank function, which is when you could upload your own documents. So you could upload five documents at a time. And these are the different file formats. And you could go ahead and interact with those documents as well right inside of LM Studio. OK, the second option I wanted to show you takes place inside of Perplexity AI. So Perplexity actually has DeepSeek R1 and they have it available in the free accounts. I have the paid pro account for $20 a month, which gives me access to pro search. But this reasoning with R1 is available with free users. So you could choose this one. And this version of it is hosted in the US. Perplexity actually, since it's an open source model, downloaded this and is hosting it here. And this combines search with reasoning and specifically the R1 reasoning, which is really good. So let's ask it a question here and I'll kind of show you how it works. So it reasons with R1. And then on top of that, it's going to break down your question into smaller questions. With each part, it's going to also search the web. So it combines multiple different things in the same prompt. You can see it's going through 36 different web sources on top of its own knowledge base, on top of the R1 reasoning. And it usually gives you incredible answers. Cloud 3.7 Sonnet is better suited for enterprise environments requiring hybrid reasoning and long context analysis, while DeepSeek R1 dominates the cost-sensitive technical applications and open source 
customizations. Now, perplexity with R1 here, I think is well suited if you require research. They have some other functions with the pro plan like deep research too, that gives you a much more in-depth research. And obviously pro search gives you three times more sources here. If you have that paid upgrade, you could always use O3 mini, which is the reasoning model from OpenAI too, kind of works like this R1 model. So you have a lot of different options, but this is really intended for search-based tasks. So I wouldn't use R1 here if you don't need search at all, but this is an option if you wanna use it with search. One of my favorite ways to do searches right now. Now, the third way you could use DeepSeek R1 here is through another platform called Monica. And Monica is an all-in-one platform. So it gives you access to all the top AI models. So I specifically partnered with them for this video because I wanted to show you some new ways to use this because this could follow you around the web too. You don't have to use it on this website. I wanna show you a couple of different things. So all the different models, you don't have to sign up for all the different apps individually. So you can get ChatGPT here, Claude 3.7 signed it. This literally came out less than 24 hours ago and they already added it over here. Obviously you have DeepSeek R1. So everything is available here. You also get DeepSeek V3. But on top of that, you also get access to image generation models too. So a lot of the top image generation models are gonna be available for you to choose from over here. You also get video generation models too. You could see they have the top video generation models as well. So Runway Gen 3, one of my favorites. Kling, one of my favorites. You could choose those from here. This one is actually really good too. So you choose that, you give it a prompt and you could generate five second clips for that. Now this Chrome extension is actually my preferred way for using this because if I click on it, I have that same kind of Monica layout over here that I showed you on the website, but he also pulled in the video over here and I could interact the video. I could chat with it over here based on the model I have picked over here. I could just click on it and I'll get a quick page summary. This is just pulling in everything from that video transcription, kind of breaking down the key points. So if I don't have time to watch this 14 minute video, well, this is telling me exactly what it covers over here. And then I could ask any follow-up questions down here. So interacting with YouTube videos with that Chrome extension, really powerful. And the same thing also works with any web page. So you could again, click this over here. It pulls in the web page over here and then you could interact with that web page. Now this time I asked for the key points over here and you could choose different models over here. You don't have to always choose Deep Sea Car 1. Obviously you could choose any of these models by default. It's set to this Monica one, but look at all these different models that are available every time you ask a question over here in this dropdown. And anytime you do a follow-up, you could choose your model as well. And it also has access to the web too. So you could combine models that don't have web access like Claude and then add web access to them this way too. So I'll put a link in the description to Monica if you wanna try this out. Again, I recommend using the Chrome extension so it kind of follows you around and gives you access to all the models in one bundle. Thanks for Monica for sponsoring this video. Let's jump into number four. Now this next one is called Grok with a Q. So there's a Grok with a K, that's a whole different thing. Grok with a Q gives you access to open source models like R1. So you could choose R1 over here. I'm gonna choose the 70B model over here. And then you could go ahead and ask it for any type of reasoning tasks. And I'm just gonna show you the speed because it beats every single platform out there when it comes to response speed. I'll give it a coding task here and I'll just send this out over here. And you could see it's already thinking and look how fast it's going through that process right now. It's, <laughs> I can't even keep up with scrolling as fast as this is writing it and it's done. It literally took seconds here. And if you wanna see the speed over here, this is gonna show you the speed right on top. And if you're not very technical, this is extremely fast right here. 275 tokens per second is the actual speed. And the whole output took six seconds. This is probably five to 10 times faster than some of the other chat interfaces where you can use DeepSeek R1. So if you're looking for speed, definitely Grok is the place to go for that. Now at number five, this is from NVIDIA. I haven't mentioned this in other videos, but it's a really cool place to go. This is called NVIDIA NIM, okay? And these are kind of AI agents that you could build, but let me press try it now because this is an entire platform. So DeepSeek R1 is right over here, you could use it, but they have so many different popular models you could choose from. So if I press view now, you could see all kinds of models. Some of them you probably never heard of either. Like this one, I actually don't know what this one is, but any one of these you could try over here. And right now it's completely free to use this platform. So 
I'm going to go back to the model page over here and I'll just choose deep sea car one and I'll show you some other things they have that are pretty interesting. This is also, by the way, extremely fast. This is running NVIDIA GPUs, obviously the top player in the world of AI computing. And you could see this one was almost instant. This one might have a wait time though, because again, it is completely free. So I have come across times where I had to wait in line, especially if I was generating code. But again, a really interesting platform. But the one reason why I wanted to add it in this video is right here, you have parameters. So if you are more advanced, you could get DeepSeek R1 to change its default behavior that you have in other apps. So for example, you could change its temperature. Temperature is if you go to zero, it tries to follow the prompt exactly as close as possible. And the more towards one you go, the more creative it tries to get. So you usually try to find a balance in the middle somewhere over here. Now you have other things too that are also worth looking into, but temperature is probably one of my favorite things to tweak to change this response without doing much to the prompt. Now, while we're here, I'll show you some other things they have. So they have these kind of AI agents. This one turns a PDF into a podcast similar to what Notebook LM does. This one is a multimodal PDF extractor. So you could view all these different models. They have these kind of blueprints over here. They have vision language models here that you could explore from the left side over here. And in the world of biology, they have different ones you could explore in the world in simulations. They have all kinds of different workflows and blueprints. So I think this is gonna be worth exploring, but at the very minimum, you could always just use DeepSeek R1 here. It's gonna be one of the speediest options as long as a lot of people aren't using it at the same time. Now I also compared DeepSeek R1 against other top reasoning models. So I'll link that video here if you wanna see how he's stacked up. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.